Jesteśmy trzy dni przed KSW 21. Ponownie jesteśmy z Matem Horwiczem. Matt, it's pleasure to talk with you once again. Uh, we're only three days away from the KSW event. Um, you were originally supposed to fight with Jay Silva. What what do you think about the late notice change? Uh, I'm thankful to Terry Martin uh, stepping up and taking the fight. Uh, He, he's a great warrior. Uh, that's awesome of him to take the fight on short notice. Jay Silva is a good friend of mine. We train together. Uh, love the guy, respect the guy. Um, I didn't really want to have to fight him. Um, I know Jay needs the money, so he's in my prayers. Um, and perhaps I can be helpful when I get back for his journey and training. But I'm really thankful that I don't have to fight my friend. Uh, Terry Martin, I'm sure he's a really sweet guy. I don't really know him though, so that's a little better for fighting. I prefer to fight guys I don't really know. And I know it doesn't really matter that this much, but uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the game plan for Jay Silva? Uh, Jay Silva? Um, well, you know, I don't like to get stuck to thinking a certain game plan because if I say in the interview, I'm going to do this and that, um, I just like to have it flow and have my focus be on improving as improving as an artist on all the facets of the sport, the striking, the feints, uh, the footwork, the takedowns, the submissions, flowing fluently one to the next, like one quarter note to the next on Blue Oyster Cult, Don't Fear the Reaper, or uh, the subatomic particles discovered in the Large Hadron Collider in CERN, or or one Bible verse to the next by Jesus' grace. And Terry, your new opponent, he, w he were never submitted and you were never never KO'd. Did you at least thought about it? Did you have time to take a look, close look at, at his uh, style? Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with his style. A lot of my old teammates have fought him. Uh, he's got good hands, a uh, good fighter. Um, so uh, yeah, I've, I've had time to take a look at his style. I mean, All of us are trying to improve on all the facets of the sport and be the best we can be for our family and friends and uh, be blessed enough to get a house, live happily ever after, influence people positively as an athlete. And it's great the sport's growing so much and hopefully there'll be room for all of us to follow our dreams and, uh, and have that artistic freedom. And uh, we're all changing the world as athletes and artists. Uh, Change starts one person at a time, and we can all change the world because our words and actions resonate out eternally in a sense. And Speaking about changing the world, improving your skills, uh, who and where uh, did you train with the most for this fight? I've been training at King's MMA, uh, working with the great stand-up coaches there. Um, I'm thankful to my my old family and friends at, uh, at Team Quest, Matt Lindland and Shale Sonnen, who I got started with. But I wanted to do something different and go to the land of uh, free spirits and artistic, uh, creative expression in Hollywood and hung out with my good friend Eddie Bravo, learned some good new knowledge on my journey as an artist and uh, went to uh, King's MMA to work with uh, Master Rafael, who was uh, one of Anderson Silva's trainers and Lyoto Machida. And we also go to Black House to train with them. And uh, Fabricio Wardoom, rolling with him, has been a, a great confidence booster. Um, uh, I mean, uh, getting worked over by him, but giving it my best shot feels good. And uh, Orlando Sanchez, uh, Tyler Wombles, there, there's so many great guys there to train with. And it's a great spiritual vibe. Uh, Uh, Master Rafael is a good example as a Christian and as a champion and athlete, as well as uh, Master Vanderlei Silva and uh, Anderson Silva. And there's a great group of people, good positive energy, lifting each other up in prayer. And um, I'm thankful to God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit to, to do what I like doing and grow as an artist and do my job with all of my might and hang out with the fans and the beautiful universe family. And it's a beautiful thing. And you were supposed to have a fight at middleweight. Now you seem uh, a bit more uh, energi energized than the last time when you were exhausted by because of the cutting weight. So when they change your opponent, y it seems like you, you stopped cutting weight, right? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, right. Thank God, a catch weight. I mean, I've entertained the possibility. I would like to try some fights at light heavyweight because I'm like five pounds heavier than Lyoto Machida. 
And he's, uh, you know, when you meet your heroes, you always think they're going to be towering over you, like on Braveheart, when he says, you're not William Wallace. William Wallace is seven foot four. So I meet Lyoto Machida, and he's actually lighter than me. And uh, the man's all technique. I mean, he's fighting these big monsters like John Jones, and he's lighter than me, a middleweight fighter. We had a small conversation last time about cutting weight. You had some difficulties here in Poland because you, everything was different. The products were different, and you said you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna protect yourself uh, next time better. Did you uh, did you thought about it this time? Did you protect yourself? Uh, when, when you thought about cutting weight. Now you don't have to do it, but at least you had to do it. You had to think about it before the fight. What did I say was different again? I say so much stuff, it's hard to keep up with. <laughs> I said the products were different. Uh, here in Poland, you know, the descriptions, it's pretty difficult for you because the products, the food is different uh, than in the US, you know, it's... it's well, the food here is beautiful. I love the food. I'm just looking forward to making weight so I can eat some. As far as the products being different, we're going to go to the grocery store, get some good spinach and nuts and seeds and high alkaline food. Uh, it's great to get addicted to eating good food that the earth makes to nourish our bodies. It's great for artists and athletes. And uh, after I make weight, we're going to do that, get some good IVs and uh, thank God and Jesus that I made the weight and then eat some more food and then thank the great spirit uh, that I made weight and then eat some more food and then do the fight and uh, hang out with the beautiful universe family. As far as the products, I don't exactly remember what I said about that. Like I said, uh, I always say so much stuff, it's kind of hard to keep up with. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us a little bit about the maracas you have here in, holding in your hands? Because you said it helps you somehow to, to find the rhythm. Uh, how much does it help you in, in your training or it's different thing than training? Well, you know, it's been a memorable experience walking into this fight. I went to the Dio Disciples concert and God bless Ronnie James Dio, the most powerful voice in metal, rest in peace. And I was really touched and inspired by how many people there to celebrate, uh, how big of an impact he had on our lives. And he was such a, such a nice guy. And I would like to have that kind of impact as an artist. And I, I um, got these maracas because it's all interconnected, flowing on music or rhythm, or one combo or tempo in a fight to the next, or one submission or guard pass, or one subatomic particle to the next, and the 11 dimensions of string theory and quantum physics and science. And it's beautiful how it's all interconnected, art and science and spirituality and love and unity. And these things are pretty cool because you can shadow box with them. Uh, if we could get the camera up. You can do some pretty groovy rhythms. And then maybe change the rhythm. That, uh, because you said you 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 train uh, with black house fighters and they are different than any other fighters the brazilian fighters they have their own styles anderson has a, a lot of exercises for for himself designed for himself and liodo probably also is yeah. this something like you you try to 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 the same thing but it's something different especially especially for you right well, it's actually something that Master Steven Seagal showed me by Jesus' grace to work on my rhythm. No, I'm just playing. Steven Seagal didn't show me that. But, um, <laughs> you tricked me. <laughs> but uh, it's actually something that the Great Spirit inspired me, that he gives us this gift, uh, whether it's me or Anderson Silva or Steven Seagal, to tap into artistic freedom and our limitless potential and grow as an artist and creative expression with uh, maracas or the classical guitar or the poetry and creative writing about God's beautiful multiverse and just sharing it and inspiring each other and setting the bar higher as human beings as athletes and artists and 
uh, just uh, standing for love, trying to change the world, uh, to stop the people from slaughtering dolphins and Taji and get us to see every animal as sacred. Like we're all one beautiful universe family. We all come from the same God and the same Big Bang beginning of the universe. And we all got to look out for each other and set the bar higher as human beings and inspire each other. And it's all interconnected, art, science, spirituality, music, mixed martial arts, getting into the flow and groove. So thank God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and uh, and all the beautiful artists that have touched me and so many people's lives. And I hope to tap into God's limitless potential and use that inspiration to, to have as big an impact with my life as I can and do as many good things and make the most out of the experience. And, and we can all do that. And I just want to inspire all the fans to follow their dreams as artists. And, I will have to be blind not to uh, see your new um, image, the, the Wolverine bird. Is, you said something about behind the camera, you said something about playing, acting in, in the movies. Can you explain a little bit more about it? Well, this is actually great. I'm really glad you asked me this because storytelling's played a, such a big part in how we've evolved as a civilization, seeing things through another character's eyes, being inspired by a hero in a story. And uh, I don't know about you, but when I go see the Avengers or Wolverine, it really gets me inspired to try to be courageous and be the best person I can be in life. And uh, one of my fantasies is to play Wolverine's brother, Sabretooth, in one of the movies. Now, there have been a lot of different writings on Sabretooth for the diehard comic nerds like myself. Chris Claremont originally wrote Sabretooth to be Wolverine's father, and Wolverine was stronger and uh, quicker, or Sabretooth was stronger and quicker than Wolverine, and he wasn't really the bad guy. He was, uh, he just liked to come rough Wolverine up and uh, just uh, teach him, uh, teach him a lesson. As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. But then, once the other writers got it out of Chris Claremont's hands, uh, and he went on to other projects, they made him the more cold uh cold-blooded serial killer that's like a genius and and that's that would be a cool part to play too just because uh it would be every it really tests your acting abilities to play like the the cold ruthless bad guy and it allows you to get a little more crazy like when Heath Ledger played Joker I mean god bless rest in peace Heath Ledger did such a great job yeah, playing great the Joker such a young talented artist and he wasn't really doing anything that stupid from what I understand he was just taking took the wrong combination of sleeping pills and that's something to sleep on an airplane or anyone can do and uh, to be aware of and he sh it's amazing he made Jack Nicholson look like he had no business playing the Joker and Jack Nicholson did a phenomenal job playing the Joker the guy's a phenomenal actor he's been acting since dinosaurs walked the earth and Heath Ledger a young actor did better at playing the Joker I mean Gosh, that was inspirational. He did such an awesome job. And uh, one of my big dreams is to do a, do a job half as good as that at playing Sabretooth, uh, the character that I grew up reading, Wolverine and Sabretooth. And I like, uh, I like them as superheroes because they're kind of like rebel superheroes that don't play by the rules and challenge society's beliefs and ideals. But they get the most amount of good done by God's grace and they inspire all of us. And uh, it's, uh, it's just such a great thing, the, uh, the art of storytelling and how it can inspire us as people when we're growing up as kids, Spider-Man or Superman or Wolverine. So God bless and we all, every day's a new day of adventure and limitless potential. So hopefully you'll see me as playing Sabretooth and saying some of his cool lines, scrapping with Wolverine. Uh, what's one of his favorite, one of my favorite lines by him is when he's scrapping with Omega Red in the comic books. And Omega Red wraps him up in the tentacles and he says, as always, Sabretooth, you prove useful as a tool for, to get this objective done. And Sabretooth says, I hate to disappoint you, Red, but the only tool I am is the spade that digs your grave and busts out and beats Omega Red's ass and makes him retreat. And, Uh, and, and at the end, I would like to uh, to ask you about your uh, Facebook activity because you seems like you're pretty active at at, at fa with Facebook act, uh, community. Did you had a chance because you invited some Polish fans here to hotel Marriott Hotel? Did you had a chance to uh, to m meet uh, any of them? 
Well, I haven't yet. You know, it's hard. There's so much stuff going on with cutting weight. I told them all that they can come down to the motel room and have some prayer and fellowship, um, which would be awesome. So everybody's welcome as long as they come after 9 a.m. and before 9 p.m. Uh, I love to network with my beautiful universe family. And Facebook is such a great tool for that, um, to be able to network with people all over the world and share my ideas and poetry and have them share their ideas in poetry. It's like a worldwide open mic. I feel like Charles Xavier plugging into the cerebral machine where we can all make contact and share our ideas and learn new knowledge uh, from Wikipedia Encyclopedia or learn tap dancing on YouTube or learn about the maracas or the tambourine or classical guitar or new ideas for mixed martial arts or philosophy or Christian inspirational writers and it's such a beautiful time and so so many beautiful tools to do great things in Jesus's army of light and there's so many beautiful women in Poland uh, it actually be kind of it's I've actually thought about moving here a couple times but in Hollywood there's lots of opportunity for me to grow as an artist and try to get into acting and good fighters and everything to train with and uh, I'm just uh, was married for three years, so I want to see what God's plan is, and I don't. I'm not necessarily wanting to close the door on that. I just want to look at all my options carefully by Jesus's grace and and choose wisely. So any, it's always to make good to make friends, whether it's uh, fellow warriors and Jesus's army of light or beautiful Polish girls. Uh, you're all welcome to add me on Facebook, and I enjoy talking to everyone and sharing my ideas and. Uh, Thank God for the beautiful multiverse family, beautiful women, river dolphins, uh, all the warrior bros, and we're all, we all have limitless potential to do awesome things by Jesus' grace. Now's the time to live out all our dreams. So I would like to thank you, and it was a huge pleasure to speak with uh, the much more outspoken Matt, not cutting weight, so uh, I wish you much luck on Saturday night. All right, thanks so much for the interview and, and the opportunity to philosophize and share our ideas. God bless in Jesus' name and don't fear the reaper.